Hello everybody, I'm Boaz Fadar, an evolutionary astrologer, and I'm here with the evolutionary astrology message for the week between the 16th and the 23rd of February 2019. So this is where I'm talking about celestial transits that affect us all, all zodiac signs, generally about the weather. So let's see. First of all, how is this time for you? Do you have revelations? Are you stepping into the new have you boldly let yourself go where you've never gone before? Are you in the upgrading zone? Remember, when you're upgrading, there's no stability in the system. But hopefully, it will provide with more efficiency, a greater authenticity, and, and um, an upgraded version of yourself. I'm here with Georgia sitting on my lap. Hello. And I'm very happy she's here because she got lost last Friday and I found her only late afternoon this Wednesday. She was fetter light, but she wasn't much fetter before. The good thing is that she's healthy and she's sitting on my lap happy and all is well. So. We're heading into an intense week. We're heading into a week that can say a lot for relationships, both of ourselves with ourselves, ourselves with others, and ourselves with our jobs, and the way we turn and value in our life. It's a time to be, in a way, hand in hand with two very important aspects in your life. Practicality and reality, and your dreams. If these two go hand in hand in your life right now, this is truly a time that you could surf to an amazing tropical beach resort and just be amazed that you got yourself there. Of course, I'm speaking metaphorically and I'm giving this too much touristic Copacabana um, um, kind of uh, analogy. I don't know why, Georgia. But... It could really surprise you. The change that you can bring into your life, letting go of who you were, understanding that you don't even know who you're going to be. Most of us don't even really know who we were. Certainly don't know who we are today. But it is a time that we can get a glimpse of who we are supposed to be, of our destinies. This is a time of realignment with both our dreams and reality. Why am I saying that? I'm saying that because there's a lot of Saturnian on the one hand and Neptunian transits happening to personal planets this week. So we're getting an influence and, and most planets have it are impacted by both planets at the same time. That's why I say and, and, hand in hand. And if we are truly talking about spirituality and about alignment with the role we need to take in this life right now, these are our two main ingredients of our engine. This is our fuel. Practicality and reality and our dreams and inspirations, our imagination. We just have to make sure that we're not following an illusion. It is an energetical buildup in the sky up to the 19th. We're having a supermoon in zero degrees. Uh, uh, Virgo, 42 minutes if I'm not mistaken. The moon is going to be especially close to Earth. It's a time full of emotion. The tides are higher and, 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 and water all around the globe, including within our body, is affected, but more so our emotions. And it's a time that we could really get a deeper understanding of who we are, our own identity, what we need to feel at peace, to have a sense of security. What is really true for us? And it's a great time to take that self forward. 
because this new moon is going to be in an amazing trine both with the broad trine to to uh, Jupiter and to Mars and Uranus Mars and Uranus bring the speed and the need to walk forward to understand that I need to take my own uh, destiny my destiny into my own hands and really um, by doing that not only upgrade my own life but upgrade the lives of others around me upgrade this world in a sense there's a humanistic feeling coming out of it it's about me joining the, gr the group that I feel I belong to it's about getting help through social media of course, of course I'm talking about all these uh, symbolic aspects of the Mars Uranus uh, conjunction in the sky it is the individual uh, that is ahead of its time Uranus individual Mars Uranus it is the fighter Mars that fights for global causes it is the marriage between the beast of Mars to the higher mind of Uranus and it, it, it's also the symbol of superheroes Mars being the hero and Uranus being the super making that person special so what makes you special these days do you allow yourself to discover a greater authenticity regarding who you are and who you need to become because things that come into your life right now at this time can have great value and meaning to the answer to those questions and right now what happens within the relationship you have with yourself the relationship you have with the world with other people with your dear ones, with your work and the way you draw and value in your life is important because it has a strategic effect. All our relationships, including the one we have with ourselves, are being tested right now as Venus draws to a conjunction with Saturn. And, and later on, they are also subject to transformation and change when she closes in on Pluto next Saturday so it could be a turbulent time of too much judgment of chaos of drama of making mountains out of molehills be careful of that but do allow yourself to realign mature and take responsibility Saturn and go through a transformation to be more powerful and rise from the ashes of the of yesterday Pluto but don't allow judgment darkness anger and 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 uh, the need to for control for of the dark side are those don't allow them to take control and if someone is domineering you if someone is cruel to you in your life don't take it or else this could be a time of a combustion and a change a death of the old and a transformation into the new Saturn Pluto okay what else we have Mercury the planet in charge of our brain our cognition our left brain hemisphere that's everything that is logical everything that is intellectual our ideas and the way we navigate through our life conjuncting Neptune out of space and time not of this reality the sublime what we're most afraid of our unconscious the universe God nature that that was there before the left hemisphere even developed before words before ideas before these were even formulated it was there 
in unity, cradling us with a smile. Kai Pacha, which is an astrologer I love very much, Thomas Lesher, says Neptune is love. And I love that. Okay, I love that because I look at Neptune too often as something that is a bit traumatic because that love is idealistic and naive to a unity we remember once in heaven no longer exists here on earth. It's a place we could feel broken hearted when reality taps or slaps our face. And that's why we need to be practical. That's why there's all these Saturnian aspects in the sky this week. We need to be facing the real, but aspiring for something that is better. For something that we have in our visions. So let's go through the weekdays and see what else is happening. Saturday basically said everything I wanted about Saturday. Evening time, be careful not to be too judgmental. Um, we're having Mercury. Oh, we're having Venus sextile Neptune on Sunday. Very romantic time, a great time to um, work on these relationships, work on intimacy, work on having some more fun with your loved ones. Or just... Uh, you know, being inspired to create something really beautiful if you don't feel like being with anyone else. Um, Chiron enters Aris on the 18th, bringing the pain home. Things that were once vague are now clearer and we know we need to take charge and are able to change our destiny and our future. Uh, this time Chiron is in Aries for good, at least for a while. And... It is our time to heal ourselves, to look at our own wounds and understand that this posturing wound is actually blood poisoning the whole system. And once we take care of it, I mean, once I take care of it, says Mars, I can actually walk forward without those shackles on my legs any longer. Um, it is about identifying our limitations, our own humanity, and being in a state of humility, too, in order for that healing to happen. And Venus is conjunct Saturn on that day, the 18th as well. Important day for relationships, both with work and with persons in your life. Um, careful what you're saying on that day, generally over the next few days. Sun hits Pisces ingresses into Pisces on the 19th and Mercury conjuncts with Neptune. A bit of a forgetful day, a great day for inspiration, but that is also um, the, the, the full moon, the super moon, and there's all this energy that is peaking in the afternoon time if you're in Europe. And that moon, as I said, is in trine with both Jupiter and Mars Uranus. It is about our actions, says Mars, to take ourselves forward, says Uranus, with great wisdom, inspiration, and belief, says Jupiter, in order to transmute and change who we are, the moon, our identities, the moon, in a light of betterment, true service to ourselves and the universe and a greater connection between our minds and our bodies, living in a much healthier way. All of that is themes of Virgo. Maintaining and bettering, making everything more healthy and hygienic. Actually understanding, seeing the faults that we have, that we need to work on in the light. So a very energetic day, the 19th. Just ride it if you can. The 20th, great day for business. 
a great day for signing deals. There's a feeling of companionship. There's Mercury sextile Saturn that day. There's all kinds of great aspects to the moon as well. 21st, a bit sensitive. Don't uh, um, abuse your senses on that day because you're too sensitive. Like sometimes we want to eat sweets and, and fat foods or just indulge ourselves or overindulge ourselves in sensitive days like that. Um, and when it comes to the weekend, be discreet, be tactful because we could say too much too fast with the square between Mercury and Jupiter. And that Saturday, we're having a grand cardinal square in the sky and Venus conjunct Pluto. So it could be a very transformative day. It could be a dramatic day. It could be a challenging day. Prepare ahead and enhance your calm. And then it could be a day in which you achieve a lot in because you harness that energy. To be more powerful in your life. You don't let it rule you. You harness it. You are not thrown side to side by the wind. You actually sail with it. That's about everything I had to say. I want to thank you for listening. On behalf of Georgia and myself. I hope to see you on one of our next flights. And until then. May you live long. And prosper. And of course, for private readings, consultations, lessons, and groups, just let me know. This is Boaz Feiler. Goodbye.